new gel filtration column. When you have a size exclusion column, it's really important to keep it wet. And so we want to make sure that air does not get in here when we are hooking it up to our column. And so that's why it comes with this little like holder sample reservoir. I don't know what you call this thing, but anyway, it's keeping it wet. And then at the bottom, there's a plug to make sure that it doesn't dry out from the bottom. And so when we hook it up to our Acta machine, we want to make sure that we don't introduce air into here and that we don't also, we want to make sure that we don't crush the beads. And so we need to make sure that when we're setting it up, we have liquid flowing into it. We go to a, we do a drop by drop to make sure that we actually have liquid in here, then make sure that the liquid's coming out and then we can hook it up. When we're doing that, we want to make sure that we're not having too high of a pressure. So we need to manually set the pressure limit to be that, that the column can take the pre-column pressure limit. We'll set that on the machine manually and then we'll start a low flow rate of liquid through the line that's gonna go into the column. We'll watch and make sure that it comes out the bottom and then we'll hook it up. So let's go ahead and we see that this column is a Superdex 200 increase, 10300 GL. And if we come over to our, to our unicorn software, what we can see is if we go to this tool here, this is column handling. This is where you can find information about your column. And so this is going to be the Superdex 200 increase 10 to 300 GL. And so now I find all the parameters and the key parameters I'm looking for right now are going to be the pre-column pressure. So that's going to be a maximum pre-column pressure of five and then also the flow rates. And so you can see the default flow rate is 0.75 and that the pre-column pressure limit is five. When we run a made manual, we'll have it set so that the alarms will be in there, but when we're just doing things like manually like this, then we need to tell it what we want the alarm to be. So we're gonna go to manual, execute manual instructions. We're gonna go to alarms, alarm, pre-column pressure, and we're gonna put five megapascals. And then we're gonna say insert, and then we're gonna execute it. And so we can see that we issued the manual and it was completed. So basically it set the pressure limit. Okay, so now we can go ahead and close that. We don't want to be on bypass right now. So we want to change our column to column downflow. And since we only have that one column position currently, we see that it already knows which it is. We're going to have to set the flow rate. And so we're going to go to our system pumps and we're just gonna do a low flow. And so we wanna make sure that we don't go too high, that we get a high pressure, and we don't really wanna be squirting liquid with us right now. So we know that like the column could go to 1.8, but that's with that in like, not in the cold and stuff. And we don't want it, we don't need it to be high right now. We just wanna get enough liquid coming out of it, little drops, so we can have a wet to wet transfer. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to set flow rate we can see the green saying that it's coming through and we can see the flow path that it's going from A and it's going to go through down our sample and then just into the waste. And we did our, we did our bump, pump wash so we know that our pump's good. We primed it and everything so there shouldn't be any air in, coming from there. And if we come over here, we should see that we're starting to come out of our line. So our liquid's flowing through nicely. Now what we're gonna do is now we have that ready. So you wanna have this hooked up and stuff before you go and take this off. And then before you have liquid come into it, we need to take the stopper out of the bottom. If you have an old column already in here, you'll wanna make sure that when you take it off, you stopper it too. So now this is coming out and I'm gonna hook it into here. You're gonna let the liquid come out in the drops and when there's a drop like right on the edge, then you go ahead and stick it in. So you can see there's like an adapter, just like all the other adapters. It's going to screw right in. Similarly to when you hook up other adapters, you want to make sure that when you're putting it in, you have this tubing sticking out a little and that you're pushing in the tubing when you go and you twist it. You keep that pressure there so that this doesn't pull out. Now we should start to see it come out the bottom of our column.
there we go. So it takes a while to go through these long columns, but now we see that the drops are starting to come out. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the drop. And I can see that even though I'm not looking at the screen, I can tell that liquid's still flowing and the green light is up there. If the pressure was like, got too high, it would stop on us. And that there would be a red light. So I'm gonna hold the pressure on the tubing while I screw in. Make sure I pull a little, pull gently to make sure it doesn't come out. And now everything still seems good. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna go and make sure that the pressure and everything looks good on the machine. And so if we go and we go to filter curves, we can actually go and do the, um, we can turn on some of these things. And so we can go to like system pressure and you can see that the, it's connected and all that stuff is good. When we're over here and we go to execute manual instructions, you can go and you can do an other and do a timer. And so when we said that this column was like 20, let's see, we go back to column handling. We see that this column was 23.5. And so maybe what I want to do is I want to go to manual, execute manual instructions, other timer, and I'm going to have it do two column volumes. So maybe I'll just say like 50 mils and then I want it to end and then I can execute that. And so now it'll equilibrate my column and then it'll end. I can see that the manual instructions were issued here. And so now, even if we go, if we go home for the day, they should be equilibrating and then it'll end. So then it'll be ready for our sample.